Interim President of the Central African Republic, Michel Jutogia, in one of his recent appeals for peace and an end to sectarian strife in the impoverished country. The violence has so far claimed hundreds of lives and displaced almost 10% of the country's 5 million population. 40,000 of those displaced have made them Poco International Airport in Bangui their home. Despite the president appealing to them to return home, aid agencies say the numbers keep growing owing to sporadic mob attacks in various neighborhoods. The Central African Republic has been racked by insecurity since independence from France in 1960, but religion in the mainly Christian country had never been a factor until now. This was precipitated by a coup in March when the Seleka rebel movement, whose members are drawn from the north, overthrew the Christian president Francois Bozizé and installed Jotogia as the country's first Muslim leader. Despite being disbanded, the Seleka rebels went on a killing, looting and raping rampage, sparking reprisal attacks by the anti-Balaka, a local vigilante group said to be largely comprised of Christian militia. The worst attacks this year happened on the 5th and 6th of December when ex-Seleka rebels killed more than a thousand people in Bangui alone, reportedly to avenge the anti-Balaka militia attacks throughout the country. Now this prompted France to deploy 1,600 troops under a UN mandate to support a regional peacekeeping force that was struggling with the violence. But France, which has so far lost two soldiers to the violence, has been accused of taking sides in its disarmament operation, which is part of its mandate. Several demonstrations have been held in Bangui by supporters of ex seleka rebels. We are really committed along no specific side. We are intervening to make all the evictions stop. Okay. From either side they come. Chadians and Chadian troops, on the other hand, have been targets of the anti-Balaka and their supporters, who accuse them of siding and supporting the Seleka. Chad, a key player in the Central African Republic politics, is accused of masterminding the Seleka rebellion. So far, seven Chadian peacekeepers have been killed and thousands of its citizens forced to flee. Many, including religious leaders, blame politics and a fight for resources like diamonds, timber, gold, uranium and oil for the upsurge in violence. The interim president, however, blames the atrocities on the former regime. Since I took over power, I know the country has suffered greatly. This has been caused by soldiers and individuals who were before me. But we shall not be cowed. We will find them and bring them to justice. The president has promised to see through a political transition under a deal hammered by regional leaders Ali Tiskia in Libreville. The deal puts him in power until 2015, with elections being held thereafter. The prime minister has, however, been quoted as saying the elections could be held as early as next year. While many see the elections as one of the exit doors for lasting peace, the president, the prime minister and the transitional council chairman are not allowed to stand in that election expected latest February 2015. But in the meantime, a stop to the violence and a return to normalcy is what the people of the Central African Republic are yearning for. Jane Keo, CCTV, Bangui in the Central African Republic.